M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Just experimenting at the moment, also using Blue DV, so thanks very much to David. It's PA7LIM. You can see that. So you can hear DMR coming through, Blue DV, which is on my PC. So how are we able to listen to this? You can see my 878 there receiving it. The frequencies are in their software. So have a look at this board here. You can buy these for about six pound, these boards, and then this MMDVM hat, 20, 25 pound. And the, the PA7 LIM software is downloadable free, and of course, you know, you're welcome to make donations there. So let me show you the board, and then I'll show you how I've wired things. So this is an ES. P32 development board as you can see there ESP32 six pound on eBay okay the wired connections that you're seeing at the moment and they are marked on the other side the white one is actually the ground okay the green one now I've used the colors I want to use the green one goes from RX and it's marked on the board. Quite hard to see, but it is marked. Move my hand out of the way. You see tiny writing RX next to it TX. So the RX goes to on the MMDVM hat. Now remember the antenna is at this side here. Yeah. And it's marked on the board, although for some reason it's different on this board. <laughs> but anyway goes to TX here, so green RX goes to, all right, let's just get in there. So you can see that the green, which is the fourth pin in, is going to the first pin. Now, if you're looking straight from the top, you'll see that the live here is in one. So if you look there, there's a space. I'm going to get some good light on this for you. There you go. You've got a space here, and that's the three-point live that's going from the development board. You can see the red cable there. That's your 3.3 volt out from the development board. And yes, it is marked on the other side. Okay. Take a look. Obviously, moving it around is not going to help with this. And then you've just the ground is going from the ground on the development board. Again, it's marked. If you look at mine, now you could just buy a Raspberry Pi Zero and this is gonna work a lot better. So this is experimentation. Now the other good thing about this is that that is a Bluetooth board. So the next challenge for me is to work out how to get it to connect via Bluetooth. We might have to load some firmware on this, I'm not sure. But what I do know is that via just a serial connection and on the computer it shows up as, if you look here and it's just there, USB serial, CH340. So, but I have to completely thank PA7LIM for all of this because most, most of my inspiration is from David. So as you can tell, I'm having great fun. I've got, you know, these hats, Buy a few, they're a great fun to play with. They can work on DMR, D-Star and Fusion. They do fit on Raspberry Pi 3s, Pi 0s, even the Pi 2 I've got here. Uh, the development board, you know, it's a Bluetooth development ESP32 board. It does a lot more than just the fact that it's Bluetooth. I, I don't know much about them, to be honest. To turn it around, but I'm, you know, I'm enjoying learning and tinkering. Uh, if someone knows how to get the Bluetooth on, let me know. I've tried to search it. It doesn't seem to be showing off on my Bluetooth search. Maybe I need to enable it. There are a couple of buttons there I noticed. Boot and EN is it? Now, I haven't even tried to load firmware on this. And that's the next learning curve. But I thought I'd show you. And you can see there. It's definitely working. Bye for now, 7-3.